Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Clubo. Today we will be making this pom pom clothespin Easter girl. She's fun and easy, so let's get started. To make our Easter girl, we'll begin with a clothespin. This is an old fashioned wooden clothespin. It has little tapered legs here, little tapered feet, which I like. I've already created the face. You can find the instructions for my face in the Focus on Faces video. It's easy. Now we're going to make some pom-poms. I have two sizes, 65 millimeter for the skirt and 25 millimeter for the hair. The first thing that I wanna do is color in her little shoes with my hot pink marker. This is a Tombow brush tip. Just like that. And I'll also color it on the inside. And I'll repeat for the second foot. This is the Tombow dual brush pen, bright palette, color 725. But of course you can use whatever you like. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute while we make our pom-poms. For the skirt, I'm gonna use the 65 millimeter Clover pom-pom maker. And I'm gonna use this pink thread, which I got from Amazon. Amazon <laughs> offered me a bag of assorted um, little baby um, skeins of all different colors of acrylic yarn, and of course I couldn't resist. So this, um, each side of this pom-pom maker, I'm going to wrap 100 times. There's the first side. Also, I always like to pull the, the yarn out from the center of the skein. This side I will wrap 100 times. Now I'm cutting the, the uh, loops apart on both sides. Just keep the blade of the scissors in that little channel there. It's making pom-poms is so fun. And then instead of tying it off with a yarn or a string or a thread, I'm going to use this stretchy cord. It's called Creatology Stretchy Cord, and it's from Michaels. And I'm just gonna tie off the center of the pom-pom with the stretchy cord. I'm gonna pull it tight all the way in and then I'm gonna go around to the other side and do the same thing. I don't know, I've made many pom-poms with this stretchy cord and it has never broken yet. So I have a lot of confidence in it. And then I'm going to open up the pom-pom maker and remove little parts and then right I know it's easy to find the center and uh, I'm going to just put the clothespin right through because of that elastic in the center it makes it really easy and I'm going to put a little bit of glue right in here and secure the pom-pom to the waist I'm gonna do it to the front and the back and the sides. Uh, I wanna get the glue in contact with as many of the strands as I can. And then I'm going to take my scissors and trim this out to make it a little bit neater. Usually I would do it over my trash can. That looks good. Now I've cut two pieces of felt with my die cutting machine. This one is for the skirt and this one is for the hat. If you don't want to make the investment in the die cutting machines and the dies, you can always just cut circles. Two and a quarter, one and three quarters. So what I'm gonna do is cut a little slot in the center like this. I'm gonna fold it over and cut a little slot in the center. I'm just eyeballing this. I'm aiming for this right here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing this way 
It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be right in the center. It'll be fine. Just go for it. And now I'm kind of trimming out these little bits to create kind of a little hole in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want it to be too big. So that's going to slide over and press down to her waist. I'm going to secure this with a little bit of hot glue. That looks good. I've also cut a little heart shape and this is three quarters. Oops. This is three quarters by three quarters. I use a die cutter to, to cut out this shape, but you can cut that freehand or you could even use a circle or an oval, an oval or a square just anything that's going to cover the chest like this. It's to form her little bodice. I'm going to put some glue on the back and press that into her bodice, into her chest. Just like that. And then next I have some pink and white baker's twine. I'll cut off a nice long piece, probably a yard, which is too much, but it's always better to have extra. And then I'm going to leave maybe nine or 12 inches. And then I'm going to wrap around several times, sort of like a belt. And then tie it in the back into a bow. I just like to fill in that space between the skirt and the bodice. And then there's a bow in the back and I want those loops to be about the same length as the skirt. So they just sort of rest on the skirt. I don't want the streamers too long. I'm just gonna um, tie those off, the ends of the streamers into overhand knots. And there's her little bow in the back and I'm gonna secure that with a little bit of glue. That looks good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add her arms. This is a strip of felt. It's maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch wide. This is exactly four inches. So I'm going to secure the center of the strip at the back of the neck. There's a little bit of glue right there at the center and press that into the back of her neck. Those are going to, those arms are gonna come around and hold some flowers. Now let's make the hair. I'm using this uh, 25 millimeter pom-pom maker for the hair and I'm going to use this darker pur purple color for the hair. And for the 25 millimeter pom-pom, I'm going to wrap each side 30 times. For these smaller pom-poms, I'm gonna tie them off with a length of yarn. I don't need this to be stretchy. I'm going to make two of these 25 millimeter pom-poms. I'm going to glue one of these pom-poms to the top of her head. I like to, I like to reach inside and find the little um, loop that I use to tie off the pom-pom. And I try to get the glue right into the center. And then I'll press that onto her head, not too far forward, because I don't want to cover her face. It's important that this is glued on very securely. The glue is what is going to uh, support the weight of the project. So we want to make sure that's very secure. Now let's make the hat. This is the one and three quarter inch scallop circle, but again, you can just use a circle if you like. And I'm going to fold that in half and fold that in half again, just to sort of mark the center. And then I'm going to remove one quarter of it like this. We're going to make, this is going to be your bonnet. So I'm going to just discard this little piece and here's the ribbon. This is quarter inch ribbon. This, this ribbon doesn't seem to have a right side and a wrong side, but if your ribbon has a right and a wrong side, be sure to put right sides together on this step. 
So I'm pretending these are right sides together. I'm gonna put this in here, about in the center. You can move it up a little bit, but I find the center works pretty well. Then I'll go over to my, machine, to my sewing machine and I'm going to just seam that up right there. Here's my little bonnet. You can see how I seam that and I'm gonna turn it right side out. Now I'm going to add a generous amount of glue to the center of the bonnet and I'm going to press it right onto the pom-pom like this. It's important to glue this securely. Again, just because that's the only thing that's really going to support the weight of the project if you ever want to hang her. Now I'm going to draw these ribbons around. Remember we have these arms. Just be careful not to catch the arms. And I'm going to tie this securely to one side of her chin here. There we go, there's her bonnet. And I don't really like the way the back of this looks. So I'm adding a pom-pom to the back. And that sort of um, looks like a little ponytail. And it also helps to disguise the back here. So there's her little ponytail. I'm just gonna hold that for a second. Now I have this little um, bouquet of paper forget-me-nots and she can hold those in her hands like this or you could add one to her bonnet up here. That's really pretty or even right here at her chin. I think that I'm just gonna put them in her hands and see how that looks first. I'm adding a little bit, this is probably too much, of um, tape, floral tape, first, just to make sure that those are all going to stay together. Gives you a nice little stem. And I'll cut it off about mm, less than half an inch. All right, so I'm gonna glue those to her skirt I'm gonna put the stem toward her waist like that. And then I'll put the hands like this, sort of encircling the flowers. I got a little smudge of glue here, so I'm just going to add another flower. Maybe this pink one. There we go. And then, since I have this already, um, I've already cut into this, maybe I'll add one little flower inside her bonnet. Let's do yellow. So that's gonna go right there. Her purple hair and her yellow flower are just so ridiculous. Now all we need is a hanging loop. So I have a length of the baker's twine, the pink and white baker's twine, and I'm going to go through the bonnet and then through the pom-pom. I'm going pretty low because I want to be sure that I'm uh, securing this through the glue. And I can tell I, I hit some of the glue and I feel like that's going to be pretty secure. So I'm going to tie that off and she is done. Here's the front and then here's the back. Just want you to see how there's the loop. Here's the little, the little sash. Here's her ponytail. And uh, there's the ribbon bow, and she's done. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.